Before we go any further, let's take a look at exactly what we mean by markup. Now let's suppose that I'm not a computer person. Let's suppose I run a restaurant and I decide it's time for me to reprint some menus. I've added some new items. I'd like to get my menus done upright. Now I am a restaurant owner. I'm not a print layout specialist. So all I know is what I want on the menu and I have some idea of how I'd like it to look. So I hire a professional printer and I'll give them the information on my menu right here. And I might give them some instructions as to how exactly I want it to look. For example, I might say that I want the menu word at the top of the header there to be big and cursive. And I'll leave them a little note on my mock-up of my menu saying I want that big and cursive. And I'll say that I want this to be a list with bullet points, fancy bullet points. And then here, I might say that this fine print is going to be small and italic, let's say. So what I would do is I would give this to the printer and I would let them make the decisions about what exactly to do with it. Now there's a separation here. There's the content, the actual information that goes in the menu, and then here's what I've marked up information that's not really supposed to appear in the final product but offers some guidelines as to how the final product is supposed to be handled. What I expect to get back is something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, here's my big cursive menu heading, here's my fancy bullet points, here's my small italic fine print. What I don't expect to get back is something like this, which includes my content as well as my markup. Okay, here's my content. This is the markup, and it somehow ended up in my final product. Okay, here's my markup. That's not supposed to be there. Now, obviously, it's very doubtful that any professional human printer would make this kind of mistake, but it's the sort of mistake that a computer is very capable of making, and it's due to the nature of uh, computer information that we'll be going over. Um, but it gives us some idea of the nature of markup. It creates different sections of a document so that we can provide different instructions as to how to deal with them. Here is the same menu example. It's got exactly the same content, but now I've included some XML markup. And I've done it in kind of the way the computer would see it, in a linear fashion. 